Hi guys, welcome to the show today. Today we have Oni. She is Coach Oni on social media and she is the CEO of November Media. She's here to give us insights into her business. Hello Oni, how are you doing? Doing so far so good. Yeah, thank you for coming on today. Yeah. So Oni, can you you know tell us about a little bit about your business? Um, so I have a digital marketing agency, it's a boutique digital marketing agency called November Media. What we do at November Media is basically help businesses, corporate, tech, different niches run their social media ads. Um, and that covers Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube ads. Um, we run those type of ads for businesses. I also have a sister company that in the same line does digital marketing training for small businesses. And that company is called Get Started Academy. So it's like an academy part of the digital marketing agency. So, all together, it's just offering digital marketing services to Business businesses. And coaching. And, yeah. Oh, okay. And what you know, you I, I know you kind of organize boot camps. Yeah. And is this boot camp for you know people that want to learn about social media marketing, or is it for companies? What's the boot camp all about? So, the boot camp is actually for people that small business owners that want to learn how to run out. So. When you, when you look at November Media, November Media is positioned to um, attract corporate type businesses, tech type businesses, mid sized businesses because of the cost that goes into um, consulting for marketing and ads. It's just it's beyond ads, it's more like analytics, so many things that come with it. But with the agents and the academy, small business owners that cannot afford the luxury of having somebody take on all their marketing work can learn how to run the ads themselves. There's also another part of it where I train ad managers. Oh. So basically replicating myself okay. so that you know more people can, you know, you can make some money from knowing how to how run, to ads, run for, ads for companies. for businesses. So the training part focuses on small business owners and people that want to make money from running ads for companies just like that. And how many hours is the bootcamp? And does that make you a pro? You know, after attending the bootcamp, does that you know make you a pro when it comes to ads and all? Right. It doesn't make you a pro, but it does give you enough to venture into the world of ads as a small business owner. So you're able to at least get your first some income coming in through ads. You're able to understand your target audience. You're able to know exactly. How to communicate, so it's even beyond ads, how to okay. brand yourself, how to message, yeah. how to really target you, how to position your business for success yeah. and attract the right people to patronize you. Yeah. And I've had a lot of success with it, like over all over my page, you find success stories. Yeah. But it's really just enough for you to get started yes, with ads. Okay. Now, I have other programs that, for example, this, the one for the ads manager is different from the bootcamp. Because okay. ad managers would on, need to even understand how do you attract clients. Like, okay, I know how to run ads. Mm -hmm. How do I get my first $5,000? How do I make my first 10000 mm -hmm. How do I scale? What are the documents I need? You know, yeah. in terms of like legal, terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. How do you cover yourself so that, you know, as your, how do you give your customer feedback, like yeah. your client? feedback, what data do you want to show them, how do you show that you're doing your job well as an ads manager. So that's a different program and then I have an intensive marketing program. So different programs depending on what but the bootcamp exactly. oh, okay. the boot is the cheapest and the shortest oh, okay. in terms of time. Okay, now moving to November Media, what makes your marketing agency, if that's what it's called, stand out from every marketing agency in the So. Well, the way I introduce November Media is that we're a boutique digital marketing agency. What I mean is we're custom. So if you come to me and say, oh, I have a tech company and I want to run ads, I want to increase my customer acquisition, or maybe you want to get more signups for your app, whatever that looks like, we assess what are the platforms that would give you the most conversions based on your target audience or your niche based okay. on your niche based on your product okay. based on how people perceive it for example if you are more b2b if you are a b2b tech company you might not do so well on tiktok we might have to look at linkedin okay. we might have sometimes we look at instagram if you if your product because i met with a business owner that the product was to do with orthopedic shoes for a certain age range elderly. We're looking at Facebook uh -huh. because that 
demographic. That's where the age. That's where they are. Okay. If we're looking at something like said more, more to the Gen Z generation, Instagram, TikTok, because that's where they are. And then that would also determine the type of content that we would consult about, the type of direction that our copy would be. So all of that is very custom to you. Okay. And so we are different because a lot of times you go to digital marketing agency and they tell you this is what we do and this is what you need. Well, we are asking you, tell us your pain point, tell us your goal, tell us exactly what you are right now. And then we determine based on what you want to do, this is what you need. So you're not spending more than necessary by shoving out everything to you. We give you what you need and the cost is based on, based on the need. On the need. Oh. Exactly. Oh. Do you measure the effectiveness of your marketing ads? So there are a lot of, we have the analytics side of things mm -hmm. and we measure effectiveness again very custom based on the goal of the customer. So there are sometimes customer comes to us and say they want signups. Sometimes, sometimes customer comes to us and they say they want more conversions on their website. Some come to us and they don't quite know how they want to go about it and then we recommend, okay, so let's go with the engagement route and then we convert via DMs or something like that. But how we measure conversions is that goal, how many do we have compared to how many people saw the ad, compared to what they had before. So we do a lot of um, comparative analysis, that is, what did you have before, what do you have now. We do a lot of, um, some of the platforms use also have a dashboard. So we're able to see like the cost per click, the click through rate, the actual number of messages got in. Yeah. Now, for clients that do the messaging type ads, for example, like engagement, so go to my DM, yeah. that type of ad, um, we, beyond just getting the messages, we want them to also see they made money. Okay. So sometimes we cannot see on our dashboard, we, are, we might not see the, the actual conversions, conversions yeah. because it's going to DM. So we would see, we would see a thousand messages, but how many of those messages became money. converted leads, mm -hmm. right? How many of, so for us, it's not enough to get you leads because that's another thing that differentiates us. Some marketing agency would say, we did the job, we got you the people. So it's beyond that. Now, if I see, I'll give a practical example. I had a client, she's a beauty service provider. She does like micro bleeding and stuff. And she, first first two weeks of working with her, she was getting a lot of messages. I think she got a hundred messages in a week. Really? And she had only two conversions. Okay. So we had to have a conversation. So that's another side of the oh. November media. Yeah. We consult, marketing consulting. Now, you're having 100 messages, we are sending you the clients. What are you doing on your end that is wrong? Do you follow up on your customers? Do you offer them upsells? Do you offer them discounts when you do follow up? Like, what is your funnel like? So we had that conversation, we drafted a follow up template for the client. We told her to offer just a 10% discount to galvanize the, the clients. And by the time we talked, by the end of the month, she had converted 60 people. 60 ladies that wanted to get their brows done by this, by this um, service provider. So these are some of the things that we do to just those checks and balances. The analytics are great, but beyond the analytics, what exactly is the value that the customer is getting? And usually the client, the client provide that information to us and we, then we put it side by side with what we're doing and see, okay, how can we improve? It's part of what we offer. Okay, so is it safe to say that your most favorite marketing strategy is social media ads? Yes. Or is there any other strategy that you use when it comes to marketing? So, I would say, I wouldn't call it my most favorite because there are so many different types of strategies and all of them, depending on what your business is, can be great. But what I'm known for... Okay. <laughs> what you offer other I offer services. services. Okay. What I'm known for yeah. is social media group. You want to run ads, meet Coach Wayne, right? Mm -hmm. However, email marketing, SMS marketing, SEO, um, um, like pay per click, yeah. influencer marketing, content marketing, all of those things are the other things that we can offer. Okay. But we're typically known for, so a lot of our clients will tell you she's the go-to for social media marketing because that's pretty much what we do the most. Okay. And if someone wants to get in touch with you to book a session, how what's the best way to reach you? Um, so you can either go
go on the Vember Media mm -hmm. website. Mm -hmm. It's a website there and you see work with us button almost everywhere work with us. Or you go on dot com or dot C novembermedia.com and the November doesn't have any vowels. Okay. <laughs> so it's N V M B R okay. without November without yeah, the vowels. I made the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> November without vowels dot com. Okay. And on that website you'd see different some of the things we do. Mm -hmm. You would also see how to work with us. So in time when you work with us, it leads you to a format you would start on your project. Or if it's way easier, you can go on my personal um, brand account, Coach Oni, literally Coach Oni. And on that account, you can send me a DM anytime and I'll respond to, depending on what you want. So for people that want training, you might not see training on November Media because like I said, it's November a Media is a different company. It's the, it's the digital marketing agency. Okay. But Coach Oni, once it's you go there, training. you see training, you yeah. see all of that, including November Media. Do you have any training coming up there? Yes, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually working on one for okay. ads managers. So, a lot of small business owners reach out to me for ads, to run ads for them. And they cannot, they, they don't have the capacity in terms of financial resources to afford my level of charge, my fee, my service fee. So, this is even beyond. Um, what they will pay Facebook or Instagram, mm -hmm. they cannot they afford the fee for the they pay for the ser marketing yeah. service. So what I really feel like doing is creating a community of ads managers that if I have people that come to me, and a lot of business come and something almost every day, if I have business owners coming to me and they want to run ads, my strategies, but in another person that might be able to accept a lower fee, okay. I can direct. So basically building a team of okay, ads like freelancers. Yes, freelancers okay. Okay. that, you know, I charge a certain amount and then they can charge slightly low, you know, 100% lower, whatever type lower, they will be able to accommodate that business because they would also want to build their portfolio. Oh, okay. So that's my goal. So that's the program I have coming up. It's most likely going to be like a six weeks to eight weeks program because I don't want it to be rushed, oh, okay. like three day one. Mm -hmm. It's I'm going to be meeting with them thrice a week. Oh. We're going to go very very detailed, very, detailed, very okay. comprehensive even as much as landing their first clients by the end of the training oh nice your first time that would end you your first maybe a thousand dollars whatever that looks like okay. how to do all of that stuff that's my plan mm -hmm. by the next quarter okay i, I don't have i, I i'm not quite it's announced not, it you've got <laughs> so you guys are the first <laughs> hearing this openly apart okay. from my husband but yes yeah, i it's, have it's that cooking. in mind it's cooking Oh, nice. Okay, and when you're not doing marketing, what do you do to relax and have fun? Ugh. Do, I, do we relax? I'm a mom. <laughs> I'm a mom. We don't relax. <laughs> I think you felt that in your spirit. <laughs> well, I, as I saw that, as you said, well, I'm not, uh, I'm actually a nanny. It's not my thoughts. You said I'm a nanny when I'm not working. <laughs> Moms, we, I don't so think you basically like spend time with the family. With the family, yes. Yeah. I, I, although I wish I could just sleep. Yeah. That would be really nice. No, not no. <laughs> but there's no rest for moms. Moms don't breathe. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Family. Do you have like any word of advice you know, for people who are looking into careers in you know to come into ways in ad manager like like you said being ad managers and advice for companies who you know they never like see the need for running ads and they don't think there are benefits in doing ads. Okay. So I'll start with the second bit. Okay. This is my thought, especially when it comes to social media marketing. If you're not doing social media marketing, no matter who you are, no matter what type of company you have, yeah. you're probably wrong. Why? Because Facebook, for example, has about 2 billion users. The whole entire world is 9 billion. The entire world. So Facebook has <laughs> almost... 20% of the entire world, of the, of, of the entire globe, the Earth planet, so as a planet, yeah. on their platform, mm -hmm. as one type of user or the other. And the demographic is so huge that every type of person, every type of customer, every type of client is either on Facebook, Instagram, 
WhatsApp. Let's even focus on meta platforms as just one company. Yeah. Let's not go to TikTok and other ones or LinkedIn, which is a whole different yeah, conversation. conversation. But let's just focus on meta. Meta has three platforms that has massive market share. Now, as a business, you can leverage that platform to bring clients to you. Yeah. That's where you should be. Like, immediately, yes. Without, it's a no-brainer. How you should approach it should be then be the conversation. Okay, so how should we approach it? What is the target audience? How do I really understand the dynamics of this person? Where should I be running the ads to based on my product? Yes, I understand those conversations. But being reluctant about social media marketing as a whole, immediately no. <laughs> you should be there because everybody, everybody that you might want to sell to is there. Now, if companies like Amazon, companies like um, Google, because you see Google ads on, on Google. Instagram. Oh, okay. Not even Google. You will see Google <laughs> ads on, on Instagram. Yeah. You'll find Amazon ads on Instagram. These are multi billion dollar yeah. conglomerates. So if they are on these platforms, honestly, you should have some sort of market share from social media. It means there's something right yeah. about social media marketing. Another thing is, I also believe that a lot of medium scale or small to medium scale companies do not understand the importance of having a marketing budget. In fact, research says that 15% of your revenue should go to marketing. And it makes sense because if you're not marketing, what are you doing? I'm not even talking about social media marketing because it's paid, right? In some sort of marketing, content marketing is the cheapest. Post content, that's marketing, right? But 15% of your actual revenue, that is all the money that comes in, not your profit, your revenue should go into marketing because what drives sales is marketing. So my advice to companies is create a budget for marketing. Explore social media ads. You should be there, one way or the other. Now, to people that also be ad managers, whoo! <laughs> You have to have great people skill. There are so much, there's so many things I can say, especially from my experience. But one big thing is you have to have great people skill. I have had my fair share of amazing clients, but I've also had my fair share of very interesting clients. Yeah, you want to use Interesting clients, and you would have them very inevitable yeah. because people are people, humans are humans. So you have to have very, very great people skill. You have to cover yourself legally. You have yeah. to have terms and conditions. There was a huge client situation I had that because I wasn't covered and I was doing this haphazardly out of relationship, yeah. I got the short end of the stick and it was really bad, right? So you have to cover yourself legally, you have to have a good system, checks and balances. You also have to make sure that you don't lose your code regardless of who it is. Because at the end of the day, when there's going to be conversations about you, it would be about how you reacted and yeah. that what happened. Oh, yeah. So people skills, that would be my biggest, a lot I can say yeah. for people skills. And do you think um, marketing is a great business? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. It's okay. lucrative, but it's, it can have, retainer system is what I use, right? Okay. So, if the client doesn't want to continue, you can't force it. Yeah, you can't force it. So you have to constantly be, be marketing yeah. yourself yeah. as an ads manager. Yeah. You have to constantly have something to offer. Okay. So sometimes if I don't, I have, I always have clients. I have clients that I've been for years, but I do. I might not have the number of clients I want at a time, mm -hmm. all the time. So I have training. Okay. So you always have to have those Things multiple to... streams of income that can. Yeah. Like if I say today, I'm launching another three day bootcamp before the end of next week, it's sold out because there's that demand. Okay. So it's very lucrative because it's a, it's a service skill. It's it's such a it's a skill set that even if you start an e-commerce business tomorrow, let's say you start you want to do Amazon FBA, because you have a great skill set of marketing, you will do well in that business. So not only is it lucrative, but something you can make money from. Is the creative sense of transferability yeah. of the skill. Oh, nice. yeah. wow. 
So thank you so much guys for hanging on today and thank you Yoyi for coming. We hope to invite you some other time. Please follow us on Instagram, Karen Science with Juliet and your Instagram Coach, Coach Oini. Oini. And then also go to November Media, November Media to book an about. appointment. Your first appointment is it like free or is it paid? Um for the sake of those on this channel, yeah. I'll make it, I'll give you a discovery call for Oh, free. okay. So <laughs> just make sure you're from Juliet and she and will respond to you call. and assess your needs. Yes. Thank you so much. We're going to see you some other time. Looking forward to it. Thank yeah. you so much, Juliet. <laughs> you have a great day. Yeah. Bye. Bye.